Hey everybody, uh, here today to talk to you about matinee and creating a brief introduction cinematic to our level. Uh, this can be used for lots of other things other than an intro cinematic, but what we're going to be using today is matinee. And what matinee is, is a essentially animation system that controls movement of objects in our world. Uh, that means any object can be matinee as long as you create a essentially a matinee group for it and we'll go over how to do that in just a little bit. So let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. Uh, first thing we need to do is actually create our matinee in our world. So we're going to come up to this top bar and we're just going to click add matinee. Uh, now by default it just brings up our matinee interface. So you'll see we have uh, play controls up here, all sorts of graph editor curve controls, uh, the graph editor itself is up here and then we have our tracks window which is where we're going to be working in today. Uh, now the tracks window has a couple little quirks. Uh, you can scroll in and out to change the uh, field of view for the timeline and you can click on the little white bar underneath it to actually uh, scroll side to side on the timeline. Uh, the black bar with the white line, this is our time scrubber so uh, you'll see how to use that a little later on. Uh, the red flags on the bottom of this track indicate how long the matinee plays for. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my red one to 10 seconds since I already know this intro cinematic needs to be about 10 seconds. Uh, the green flags are what would loop in a matinee. So if we were to go into blueprints or check the flag in our matinee actor that this matinee needs to loop, uh, it would only loop for one second at a time because that is what this green area controls. Uh, I generally just drag that all the way out towards the red area too. Uh, for some reason, if I ever want it to loop, I want to make sure it loops the whole animation. So that's just a quick rundown of the matinee interface. Uh, next, what we need to do is we need to add a camera to our level. And don't worry about this film slate. That is the matinee actor that just got added to our world. That is the visual representation of that. Its uh, position in the world does not matter at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a camera to our world. We're going to make sure we're in our place modes, and I'm going to sort by all classes. Uh, there's a couple ways we can add a camera to our level. We can just click and drag that out from there. Uh, if it lets me, there we go. And you'll see it pops up our little camera actor window, which we can uh, pin down. Now what pinning does is it means we can deselect our camera and still see what it's looking at. So that's fairly useful. Uh, I'm just going to leave it unpinned for now. Another way to create a camera in our world, if you're not a fan of the drag method, uh, you can just right click and you can do a place actor and there will be a camera actor in the primitives section. So just uh, another way to do that if you are not a fan of the dragging out of the left side of the screen. So we're going to make sure we have our camera actor selected. Uh, make sure you're in the world outliner that that's what you have highlighted. And to reopen up the matinee window, I'm just going to go back up to matinee. And you'll see we don't need to add it anymore since we have our matinee actor uh, in our world map already. So I'm just going to click that. That will bring up our matinee interface once again. Uh, so now the first thing we need to do is we need to create a director track, which is going to essentially tell us which uh, track is going to be played in this matinee. So over in the track section on the left, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add new director group. And like I said, that just controls what track is being played uh, for now. So I want to make sure we still have our camera selected. Like I need to back camera actor. All right, you just want to make sure that's highlighted in your world outliner. And then we're going to go back to our matinee editor, and I'm going to right click in the gray section again, and we're going to create a new camera group. And I'm just going to call this cinematic intro. And uh, the only reason I'm naming it is later on if you have seven or eight camera tracks it can get very confusing. Uh, so you'll see right away it creates a keyframe for us at time zero. So that's very good. Next what we need to do is set up so that our director group is actually using the cinematic uh, camera track. So we're going to come up to the director section of our director group and I'm just going to hit uh, the return key. And the cut to group we want to use we're going to roll out that drop down and we're going to click our cinematic intro camera and click OK. And you'll see that it created a timeline for our cinematic intro cam. So now we know what's being played with this director. 
Uh, so now we can actually get into keyframing our camera and all that entails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete this first keyframe that it created for us. So I'm just going to come into this timeline, highlight it, and hit the delete key. Then I'm just going to come into our world, move it around. I think I want it to start a little more left than where it is right now. So I'm just going to start that over there. Now to make a keyframe, uh, this is very important, we want to move the camera. You want to make sure this time slider is at the correct time that you want to add a keyframe. So I'm going to make sure I'm at time zero again. And then I'm going to come over to this movement track to make sure that's the track we want to keyframe. And just hit uh, enter when you're ready to make a keyframe. And you'll see it created that keyframe data for us. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this time slider is all the way at 10 seconds. And I'm just going to come into the world and move our camera over a little bit more. Now I'm going to hit E on the keyboard and I'm just going to rotate it uh, some degrees. And then I'm just going to hit enter again. And you'll see now we have double keyframe data. And you'll see in our little camera actor window when we scrub our timeline that our camera is actually animating through our world now. So that's great. I'm going to go ahead and close that matinee, click save on that. Now since this is an intro and we want it to play at the start of our level, uh, a couple ways we can do that. What you want to do is you want to highlight this matinee actor. You can either do that in the world or in your world outliner. You can come over to your matinee actor. And we can check in the details, properties, play on level load. And that way when we first start our level it will automatically play our cinematic. Uh, so that was it. That was the quick rundown of Matinee and how it can be used to control a camera in Unreal Engine 4. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.